Hey guys, in today's video we'll be learning about tags. So GitHub has the ability to tag specific points in history as important. So let's say you're done working on your program and it's the first edition that you ever had. So you can mark it as version 1.0. This is really common within other programs, um, um, work files, anything that you see, version 1, 1.1, 1 .1, etc. On the left hand side, I'm in my terminal and I'm going to change to our repository. So ls to see my files and directories. And my directory is video guide, so I'm going to change directories with cd command space video guide. And let's see what we have. I have my readme, my main.cpp file. Alright, and let's see what branch I'm on with the git branch command. And I'm in my master branch. Alright, and so from our previous video, we merged part one with our master branch, and we said that, okay, this is our final edit for our part one of our program. We want to tag this as our version 1.0. To do this, we'll want to type the command git tag. After that, you do space dash a to add a tag, followed by the name of your tag. So I'm going to put b 1.0, and after that, you can do space dash m for message, and you're going to want to put a message within quotes, so this is the final program. 1.0 and then press enter. So now we have tags, so I get tag. We'll see that we have our v1.0 tag right now. So now let's say you want to push this up to your repository on GitHub. What you want to do is you want to type git push dash dash tags and then press enter. There you go. It'll say new tag v1.1 and now if we go to our repository on GitHub, I'll refresh the page. Now if you go to where the drop down menu is for branch, click on the tags tab, you'll see our 1.1. And there you go. This is how you create a tag guys. So let's say you want to delete this tag, you messed up and it's actually your version 2.0 tag. What you can do is you can go back to your terminal, type git tag dash d, followed by the name of the tag. So v1.0. And I'll just and there you go, it'll say delete the tag v1.0. Now that will delete it locally on your repository on your machine, but to do on GitHub, you want to git push origin followed by space colon and the name of the tag, v1.0. And there you go, it'll show your repository link and it says deleted your v1.0 tag. So now if we go back to our repository on GitHub, it's not there anymore. Let's go back to our video. You can see now, if we go to tags, there's nothing there to show. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. It's really useful to marking a checkpoint just like a Mario game and, and you'll get used to using this a lot more. Your final edits for your version 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great one. Bye.